Hello, my name is Mark Seifer. I'm the author of Wizard, The Life and Times of Nikola Tesla, Biography of a Genius. Adrian Carberry of 8th grade asked me some questions about Tesla's life. The first one was, what was Tesla's overall impact on the world? Tesla is the invention of the hydroelectric power system. That means from one power plant at Niagara Falls, we could illuminate the entire Northeast and also run machinery. So before Tesla, you could only light homes with individual power plants. And after Tesla, with one clean energy renewable source of power, you could light up the entire world from, well, the entire Northeast, and then throughout the world, go to different waterfalls and do the same kind of thing. Uh, the fact that it's non-polluting and renewable means you don't have to use oil or coal. So Tesla is probably the single most important person for slowing down global warming because before him, it was all coal operated and smoke would go through uh, the, the, uh, the air. Tesla also invented fluorescent lights to replace the incandescent Edison light. And he also was the invention of wireless communication, including cell phone technology and radio. Adian also asked me, what was Tesla's education like? He went to the University of Graz and also the University of Prague. This is in Europe. And he was highly educated and, and took advanced courses in mathematics. When he first moved to the United States, he began to work for Tom Edison. And he tried to tell Tom Edison about his hydroelectric power system, which worked on alternating current. But Edison didn't understand it because Edison was using direct current. So Tesla then met George Westinghouse, and Westinghouse battled Edison for the right to harness Niagara Falls. And fortunately, Westinghouse won, and Tesla spoke as the inventor of the hydropower system. How would the world be different today if it wasn't for Tesla's inventions? It's a great question. Part of it is timing. Before Tesla, just in the Northeast alone, we had 3,000 local power plants all putting uh, smoke, coal-operated smoke into the air. After Tesla, all 3,000 power plants were eliminated and the air became clean. So at some point, someone eventually would have invented his invention, but we would have had all these coal-operated power plants all over the world, and it would have been a lot harder to get rid of them. The next question said, what is Tesla's involvement with the government? Well, Tesla lived through both world wars, World War I and World War II. And in World War II, Tesla invented a particle beam weapon, which was what Ronald Reagan, President Reagan, called a Star Wars uh, invention, which would protect each country. Each country would have an electronic shield, which, which would protect other countries from invading it. So on the positive side, his idea was to create world peace because it would be nuts to invade another country. So that was his idea, and that was he, that's what he told the government. What was his childhood like? He lived on a farm in Smilian, which is in Croatia. As the crow flies, it's about 150 miles from Rome, but it's many, many miles away in terms of uh, years. When I went there in 1986, they were still using ox carts. Uh, so it was a very primitive area. His father was a priest, and because of that, he was a very learned individual. Next question was, describe how the Tesla coil works. There's many ways to describe it, but, but one thing that the Tesla coil is, it's an oscillator, it vibrates. And what Tesla did was he created a continuous wave frequency. This enabled complex forms of information to be sent over the airwaves. Marconi was using dots and dashes, you know, which is Morse code. Voice, pictures, and power are, are the, the means by Tesla's frequencies. So when we watch uh, television over the airwaves or radio over the airwaves or cell phone technology, we're using Tesla frequencies, which were produced by the Tesla coil, Tesla oscillators. One other question was, describe Tesla's life before moving to the United States. Well, he grew up on this farm. 
He had a lot of inventions. He had a pop gun invention. He tried to fly. He had wings. He jumped off the roof and hurt his arm. And then, though he, then he became highly educated, and he moved from Prague to Budapest, where he came up with the idea of the alternating current, uh, magnetic, uh, alternating current circular magnetic field, which was the basis of how to harness alternating current. And then he worked for Tom Edison in Paris for about a year. And then he came to the United States and worked for Edison then. It's a shame that Ed Edison was unable to understand his ideas. But once he worked with Westinghouse, the world changed because of his invention of the hydroelectric power system. So I thank you, Aidy and Carberry, for your questions, and good luck with your assignment.